Yeah. And of course, all of the teachings and the scriptures agree that the true nature, our true nature is love, mm -hmm. is compassion, yeah. is kindness, yeah. is joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, way back, you know, centuries, thousands of years ago, the, uh, the Upanishads declared this, that mm -hmm. the, uh, the nature of the universe and all beings, regardless if they appear inanimate or animate, you know, of course, to the yogi, there's nothing inanimate. Everything is growing and moving and has a soul. And the nature of that soul is joy. Mm -hmm. So when we can find a way to connect to that in ourselves, whoa, then <laughs> we're, we're at the place where we can truly change the world in mm -hmm. a positive way. Yeah. Because we can increase the divine bliss in the world. Mm -hmm. we're, we're a channel. We're an inst we become an instrument by yeah. making ourselves into zero. Meaning yeah. um, that's why in the Loka Samastaski no Bhavantu prayer or vow, I like to say, and may we contribute in some way mm -hmm. to that happiness, to that freedom. When you say in some way, it implies that it kind of diminishes your ego. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to save the world. I'm going to be the famous vegan that, you know, shifts yeah. the tides. And, you know, no, <laughs> we're going to contribute, mm -hmm. you know, in the best way we can. Yeah. Yeah. We're do our small part. Mm -hmm. And that acknowledges that we're a part of something much larger mm -hmm. and that i think that that is the message uh in this time that we are living that um it's through community mm -hmm. that real change real change happens mm -hmm. through being part mm -hmm. of a committed group yeah. that can agree on, on something you know <laughs> but, yeah. but you know Sometimes that, that's a challenge in, in yeah. groups, even in the yoga community or the animal rights community, for sure. There's because, you know, it's the ego rears its, mm -hmm. its uh, ugly head and it's like wants to be acknowledged. Yeah. Hey, I'm the one that had that idea. Hey, that was I said that, you know, mm -hmm. you know, like, hey, I'm the one to do this. You know, let that go. Soften mm -hmm. up. You yeah. really want to get something done. Yeah. Yeah. Support well, others, you know, yeah. that are, are doing something. Be a part of that. And together, then we're, we're a force. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that it's, it's a lot about coming together and working together and not against or thinking of someone as your competition or anything like that. I, I, I definitely agree with let's all just, the more the merrier. We're all here for the same. We're all here for the same reason. We all want, we all want the same results, you know. So, because how was your. When did you start your your vegan your vegan journey for you? Like mm. how, how after from? I saw a movie, hmm. I think it was 1982. Yeah, called <laughs> the Animals Film. The Animals Film, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I mean, it's quite an old movie. I mean, but it was like the first one of its type, and it was shown in a theater in Seattle where I was living. Mm -hmm. You know, it's over two hours long documentary film, British film, and it just depicted the many ways that we human beings are being mean, unkind, mm -hmm. exploitive, cruel, uh, degrading, uh, ridiculously stupid in our interactions with our fellow other beings. The other animals, it was mm -hmm. we're animals too. Yeah. We're one species of animal among many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and was it for you really seeing a movie and overnight, that's it, tomorrow I have, my new life is starting, I'm gonna... No, 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 no. It was, that movie devastated me, devastated my uh, way of seeing myself, the world, uh, what I was doing, I was an artist, mm -hmm. uh, 
time and I, I put, put everything into question. Mm -hmm. And what it caused me to realize was I have to, <laughs> I have to get on the program, meaning I have to figure out how to speak. Mm -hmm. I have to sp figure out how to be kind to others. I have to figure out how to be a positive force for, for love, for compassion, for kindness, that it wasn't enough just to know these facts mm -hmm. that the movie revealed to me. It wasn't enough for me to just be a vegan. Hmm. It wasn't enough. Um, I had to be able to, to be a voice, hmm. to be a voice and to um, express the truth that I discovered overnight through watching that movie mm -hmm. in a way that wasn't alienating to other people that didn't, you know, um, cause the problem to become worse mm -hmm. by them, you know, fighting me. Yeah. I didn't want to fight. I wanted to win them <laughs> to a cause that was, um, important to all of us. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, that's when I realized that yoga could, could do the trick. <laughs> if I got really good at studying yoga mm -hmm. and how yoga works, that inside of that philosophy, the animal rights was in there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know anyone who had brought that out. I didn't, hadn't read about anybody or met anyone. I didn't even know any yogis at that point. I didn't even know any vegans at that point. <laughs> there were, it was before PETA was, you know, yeah. before Ingrid Newkirk founded PETA. I mean, it was like, um, it was pretty yeah. early on. And so I didn't have, I didn't have any friends to kind of um, discuss tactics or strategy with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I had started to practice yoga. Mm -hmm. So I practiced yoga to become enlightened, but I became a yoga teacher because I, I felt I could speak up for the animals through that, mm -hmm. through yeah. that platform. Exactly. Using yoga as the platform to speak. The, the teachings of yoga, yes, yeah. could be applied. Mm -hmm. I mean, readily. I didn't mm -hmm. have to change a thing. Stira sukhamasanam. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was like when uh, you know, I read that sutra and I studied it, and then I woke up in the morning and had an insight. Whoa! Here, I mean, we don't. I don't need any other sutra but this <laughs> to, to create you know, to start making my case mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and taking it to the courtroom, you know, like, um, <laughs> you know, that um, stira means steady, mm -hmm. as in consistent, not uh, wavering. Mm -hmm. um, sukham is happy, mm -hmm. happy. And asana, or, you know, as the sutra says, asanam, it's mm -hmm. the grammatic rendition of Asana means seat. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, you know, genius to understand what is a seat. It's a connection to the earth. Mm -hmm. so that's a relate. That means relationship. Yeah. But Patanjali is talking about, you know, he's talking in code. He's talking in esoteric <laughs> language anyway, in riddles. And yeah. that's the... Um, beauty of it and the magic of it of the yoga sutra because yeah. it is magic because it does shift your perception mm -hmm. of reality yeah of yourself and others mm -hmm. and so i came to that realization that what he's talking about is to if we want yoga meaning if we want to remember god remember our connection to god to that which is eternal to that which is blissful everlasting then 
our relationship to others should be consistently joyful, mm -hmm. consistently happy, mm -hmm. should be, and so that implies mutually beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it, it was very uh, easy for me to see that. It was like, it was a epiphany, a revelation. Yeah, of like, oh, wow, like bringing that together. Because I think it's a beautiful thing how specifically in Jiva Mukti, veganism and yoga come together, like as you always do with the two hands. <sighs> you know, like how, <laughs> yeah, I do this all the time. I show people, yes. Sharon says this and then she makes this noise, you know, but that's really like ah, the coming together is so beautiful. And I really love how, because for me, I was actually quite resistant. I really was like yoga. No, you know, like I was with Sea Shepherd, of course, at the time, as you know, and, you know, we got this invite to go to Jiva Mukti and I was like, Jika, what? Like, I don't even know how, how you say this. What is this? And, and I remember being there and it was exactly as you're described as magic, because I remember being there. And then hearing Loka Samasta Sukhano Bhavantu. And then I just had, specifically as you described it, I was like, oh my God, but that's what we do. Like, that's what we do on the ship every day, you know? And for me, it was this incredible moment of like, sign me up to this club, you know? Like, I'm in, you know? It was just, and it was specifically because of these words, you know? They were so, and still are so profound to me, you know? Like, because that's what I mean I try to live my life every day for that you know like because that's just what I want for this world you know to be happy and free you know so yeah it's really um I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> um so the asanas though I mean that can be a hard one for people to understand how does that relate to veganism yeah mm -hmm. Because um, most of us, I'm sorry about that phone. It was yeah. you. Do, you need to, do you need to take it or? No, 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 okay. I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what uh, then the next phase of discovery was that how the asanas work mm -hmm. and the chakras and how they connect to Specific asanas and um all right, came to get a phone out of here. <laughs> so good to see you. And um and back to our relationship with others mm -hmm. and how you see it, it can't just be an intellectual understanding. Mm -hmm. It has to be a full, full-on body and of course there are five bodies according to yogic philosophy <laughs> so mm -hmm. all the all of those systems mm -hmm. um, have to come together and be on board if you want to be an effective mm -hmm. uh, compassionate kind being mm -hmm. then you have to rid out the anger and the blame and the negativity and the feeling of being a victim uh, yourself and being separate from others, you have to rid that out, rid that on all levels. Mm -hmm. And that the asanas actually are this incredible system, a practice that accomplishes that. Mm -hmm. If, but there's a very important if, if you want the asanas to do that for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your intention, you know, you have to use, it's like, you know, uh, they say that uh, a great being, a realized being can use the, the tools of the universe mm -hmm. for their purpose, for their love, for their uh, uh, sharing of kindness. Mm -hmm. the same tools could be used by an unenlightened person for great destruction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like any act, the action itself, the results of the action, an action you know, in Sanskrit, the word is karma, it mm -hmm. means action. Well, the result of the action is according to your intention as you're doing the action. Yeah. So Patanjali tells us that, that that uh, uh, determines the result of the action. Mm -hmm. And so 
that's a very, very important part of if you want.